Bolt Day 7, baby. Boys, it's chess day. Today, we got Kodiak Cakes to start off. And uh, I took my collagen from Gorilla Mind, my creatine from Raw Nutrition, and I've already got two cups of coffee in me, 24 freaking ounces, okay? And uh, I'm about to slug down some maple syrup for some fast digesting carbs, put some extra maple syrup on this, get some whipped cream on this bad boy, and we'll discuss the workout. Ooh. Ooh. That's the secret, boys. If you're scared of making gains, you're scared of maple syrup. It's the same thing. Okay? If you're uncomfortable with the idea of downing some carbs in an unfashionable manner, you're not a real lifter. So get that syrup in you, boys. Any way you can. Or some honey. Or just something that's easily digestible and that's a carb. So, let's get this all over here. Two, three, four, five. All right. We got a decent amount of syrup in and on. We're going to throw some freaking whipped cream on that bad boy. All right, so boys, the plan for chest day, we're going to hit heavy incline press. We're going to PR. We're going to do on the Smith machine, 225, a real 225, not a Smith machine. You know, two plates on each side, call it 225. That's not the case, boys. We know that generally speaking, most Smith machines are going to be about 20 pounds less than a standard bar. So if I put on two plates on each side, that's not going to be 225. It's going to be 205. So... We're going to make it to 25 though, so we're going to add two plates, and if I feel really good, we'll do a 10 on each side. And so, hopefully I'll get that for a ton of reps, but we're carb loading, trying to ensure that the workout will be good. Also, uh, probably going to make a liquid IV or something to just hydrate during my workout, but yeah, that's pretty much the main plan. I will see you guys in the freaking gym. <laughs> All right, boys, I don't know if you can see, but we got two plates loaded up. We're gonna hit an absolutely rambunctious set. We actually got 10 on each side as well, so it's a for real, for real 225. This should feel fairly light. Consider All things considered, okay, considering my PR is like two plates for eight reps, so just two, 205 normal. Uh, and that was on the cut. So I'd imagine that my peak strength would be much higher considering I've been having like a ton of carbs I'm coming off rest days you know so let's see and I slept pretty freaking good went to bed earlier last night It took every ounce of my being to internalize a PR yell because I just moved that like it was air, okay? That was a solid lift. Insane PR. Come on now.
That was some solid work. I'm gonna move on to Heavy dumbbell chest fly.
max stack, boys. Plus a 2.5. So that moved pretty well. I was actually surprised because last time I tried to add weight to the max stack for this, it just went very badly. But I'm thinking the approach for this is gonna be just add 2.5 every time or some kind of increment that'll like work well with some mechanics of the stack. And that should, oh, I just realized that there's already weight to add up there. All right, oh well, whatever. You guys know what I'm saying. So, we're gonna rest for a little bit and hit it one more set and then go pose. All right, we're gonna go to the posing room. All right, boys, we are gonna go hit some calf raises and then we'll be out.
All right, boys, so we're doing the classic 45 on the calf raise. I think I... The smart move is probably to add five more. All right, this is starting to look pretty hilarious. We got the max stack, plus we got an extra 45 on there, plus we got an extra five on there. So 50 pounds added to the total max. Let's see how this feels. We're just gonna do one set today. Nothing crazy. I wanna be recovered for like that. Alright boys, we are back at home. We got dinner coming up soon, some pizza, some chicken. But in the meantime, boys, I've been working on fixing my headphones because you know me, I'm not a wasteful guy. These headphones work perfectly fine with the exception of the fact that they snapped right here. You guys can see I'm putting all sorts of glue and random plastics on it to help. But we got the paper towel here and the paper plate to make sure that, you know, the glue doesn't get anywhere. All I need is baking soda. We got all kinds of tough glue. This should, be, this should be a better angle, boys. So we got a plastic knife. We, and we got baking soda. We're going to put it on the side. Because I've done this a few times by now. It'll get real weird if I don't. Keep it open with something else. Maybe. Okay, that's not going to happen. Whatever. All right, so I'm gonna take off these little plastic coverings for now. And then put them off to the side. All right. I hope they don't break next time I put them on. I doubt they will. And then we're gonna use my favorite glue out of these three. Now listen, I'm not, I mean, obviously I'm not affiliated with a glue company, but I see, I think uh, this one's my favorite though. It's Loctite. So I had a Gorilla Glue E6000 and Loctite. Uh, Loctite's the only one that actually like gets super tough in like, Alexa, stop. It's the only one that gets super tough and like hard, you know what I'm saying? Whereas uh, like E6000 and Gorilla Glue, they tend to be a little bit more flexible, which I'm not really looking for, you know? So anyway, we're gonna flip this around. And then we're going to open it up because you guys see what I mean. It's like kind of like Spider-Man's web on the inside here. It's like the glue's there and it's, you know, solid, but it's also flexible. So we're going to put a little more if I have any left. Let's see. Hold on. Let's unscrew the cap. See if that makes a difference. All right. Oh, there, yeah, there's, we still got some left, boys. But we still got some left in the other one too. All right, we got a layer on here. We got a really thick layer in here. So we're gonna put this down for now. We're gonna make sure it's squeezed in the way we want it. We're gonna super squeeze it. All right. And then we're gonna put another little layer outside here because I don't I wanna make sure it's real solid. All right, and then we're gonna do a little bit of baking soda. Not that much. All right, we're gonna put a little back. All right, that was a ton. And then it was too much again, but that's fine. And then we're gonna do one layer here. Pretty big layer. All right, and then we're gonna quickly tap this, get the extra soda off, and then put on the plastic covering like so. 
This should be, I mean, this should be rock solid, dude. All right, so you guys see that little space underneath the covering? The little open space. We're gonna fill that in with glue so that way it has no backward bending room. All right, so the plastic covering, although stylish, I can't just leave it out like that. Once it fully dries, I want it to look nice again. So I'm gonna put electrical tape over it or some kind of just good tape, all right? All right, boys, I went to such an extreme to get these to, to get well. So if this doesn't work, I don't know what will. And if this breaks, I will 100% get a new pair of headphones. That's how confident I am. Here's the thing, I basically did the equivalent of uh, when somebody gets their spine fused on this headphone. That spine is now like a titanium rod, okay? Unbreakable. So boys, what we're gonna do is after we wake up tomorrow, after I wake up, I'm gonna re-tape it, or not re-tape it, I'm gonna just put Gorilla Tape on it or something, and then, yeah, that should be decent. So, anyway, yeah, it looks pretty even, I think. Uh, it's hard to like move it that last little bit. All right, anyway though, it looks like it's gonna fit pretty snug. Only thing is it might be a little sharp here, so we might even sand this down so that way it doesn't like stab me in the head because it was kind of doing that earlier during the workout, but it's gonna be good. Anyway, guys, I will see you later for... Actually, no. We got pizza tonight, boys. And some chicken also I'm gonna have later. A bunch of other random bulk items. And that's it. So I will see you guys tomorrow for bicep back and forearm day. All right, take care.